evening guys how are you i hope you guys are doing very well welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is the last speaking uh this was a video i'm preparing for it for a long time and you can see that i have been uh, away for one week and didn't upload any videos because actually this topic is a little bit sensitive it's hard and i hope i will be able to deliver to you the idea about how we can read the candlesticks uh it's not gonna be easy you need to focus Please don't skip any part of the video. Every word I'm going to say here is very important. Um, before we go to the topic, it's very important that I need to discuss with you about the signals, about extreme trader signals. Um, we have few complaints recently uh, that the signals are not doing very well, and I agree. The signals have been on uh, on negative side for the past uh, few weeks and there is a reason for that and I will explain it to you. So just quickly, let's go through our signals performance. Uh, we can see that we have about since uh, January 7th, about 70% accuracy and uh, winning trades, total pips profit uh, 865 pips. Now, everyone, not everyone, uh, many of the people here accusing us that saying these results are, are not uh, not real These are not possible in reality uh, Somehow I agree with them somehow I don't because uh, When when Angela is sending these signals she's sending with TP1 With TP1 take profit 1 and 2 and 3 uh, So if the target of uh, 3 has been reached it has to be credited to extreme trader signals we cannot just not credit that to our uh, side, right? So for example, we cannot just count TP1 or TP2 and ignore counting take profit 3 when the candles reach take profit 3. That's why we have um, the total pips profit. We have to mention the total pips profit was uh, possible to be have if using our signals. I know it's not realistic and I know not everyone can get this one because some people will exit the, exit the trade on take profit one or two i agree but it has to be credited to us because this is our right we send the signal with take profit one two three if the signals reach take profit three then it will be counted regardless what take profit you have exited your trade okay so moving to the next week we can see on january also we had a very good performance angela is doing amazing job and the signals were going very well with uh, about 75% winning ratio. Now, whatever happened, it started in February or end of January. We can see that the colors changed to red and now the clients are losing money. Even later on January also, uh, sorry, in February, we can see that we are still on red and these are seriously big losses. Uh, almost each loss is almost uh, 50 pips and that is quite too much I agree and the profit here are uh, very less so losing 50 or 150 pips here then here earning uh, like uh, 60 or 50 pips 20 pips that is not good I agree and there is a good reason because actually Angela was trying to find a better way to enhance her signals because we sh we wanted actually to uh, add a few more techniques to our signals to improve them but because we changed extreme trader style it uh, failed somehow for some time so we can see in the end of uh, so far th in the end of February me and Angela decided we should go back to extreme trader style don't try to change the style don't try to aim more pips don't try to change whatever you have doing for the past six months so if I want to summarize it extreme trader signals were going like that we are doing very well and the signals are going well then in february we had some um, uh, what do you call it i don't know what do you call it exactly but we had some um, bad performance and it wasn't uh, in our favor that's why I had to explain to you that this was because we changed our style to another system hoping to get more pips but instead we actually uh, didn't deliver what the clients want so 
once we agreed me and Angela to go back to extreme trader signals style the one we used to do for the past six months now we are slowly going back uh, in the game so guys you can't expect any service any business to keep going up continuously to the skies that will never happen of course there will be some ups and downs and we had our downs and hopefully now we are going back into our ups so again i would like to thank angela uh, i know she tried her best to improve the signals uh let's just stick only to extreme trader style and that is what we are going to do uh, from now on so hopefully the signals will be back uh, to the best performance okay so now let's talk about the candlestick reading uh, we need to agree on two things here uh, first of all when you're analyzing or reading the candles you can't expect to be a uh, hundred percent right all the time that will never happen uh, maybe I need to write it down somewhere hold on okay so when you analyze the candles or reading them you can't expect to be 100% right all the time that was important to mention because reading the candles in the end is just analysis you are just reading what are the investors what are the buyers and sellers what are the bulls and bears are thinking to do in the market now here what you are going to do is reading the mind of the market makers so it's not easy and it's gonna take time and it will not be always accurate you have to expect the losses and don't think that you can read all of the candles all the time uh, second thing is not everyone will agree with me not everyone will agree with what I will say because forex have its own analysis for each individual each trader each one of us actually have learned forex from experience and what i'm going to share with you now is from my own experience so you cannot expect really that this will be uh, agreed by everyone there will be some people who will say don't listen to him he's right he's wrong uh, he, but i don't care about them what i'm going to say is my my, from my total of uh, approximately six and a half years almost seven years of experience in this market and I will share it with you now so let's begin uh, one second I will pause the video for a moment so we need first to go again for the second for the second time to this part of the video of recovering the losses this video which was actually a big hit on my channel uh, so many comments so many reviews about it uh, so many actual discussions about what did I do here because what I said in this trade that from the the price action of this breakout candle I was able to tell if it will go back to the retest level or if it will not and thankfully my analysis was correct and the candle indeed went down here to retest this broken resistance and I was able to recover my losses with actually some small profit so instead of losing I was able to make profit so uh, we need to focus about this part because it's very important so many people they want to know how what did I see uh, it's actually hard to explain but I will do my best now uh, for when we're talking about the breakout candle when you see a breakout candle there are some aspects that you need to pay attention to one of them is the shape of the breakout candle how is this candle look like now uh, when you have for example this resistance and you can see that this resistance has been breaking out now remember I'm on the four hour chart so looking at this breakout candle here what do we see about this breakout candle we can see that this candle here is having a small actually no actually it's a normal size tail at this bottom hmm that is quite interesting so when we see this breakout candle having uh, let me draw it if I want to draw a breakout candle once you see uh, the breakout candle having a tail on it uh, at its bottom it has a potential not only that even a, a wick at its top so this was a resistance level and this resistance has been broken out by this breakout candle so this candle 
because we can see there is a small wick at its bottom and a wick at its top it has a very strong potential of a reversal and the candle might go back down to retest this level now what if the candle has no wick at all that is another part if the candle has no wick at all most likely it will not come back it will just continue to go more and more up because usually what we see here we see this wick here right this week here this week here indicating that this breakout is not very strong it's a little bit weak the pushing that the bears are doing bears meaning the buyers the pushing that the bears are doing is not that strong because the bears were able to take the market down to this level before shooting up so when you if you want to read the candles you have to pay attention to each uh, candle each wick of the candles looking at the wicks the wicks uh, guys the, the wicks here they are showing you that the buy, the sellers were able to push the market down and eventually they get they, they gave up it's not like the news uh, breakout the news candle will be very unique actually it will be remarkable uh, let me hopefully I can find the news breakout candle uh, let me try to find one uh, this one for example look at this one this one here is quite strong the the breakout candle oh let me just zoom in hopefully I can find it again this one here yeah so looking at this breakout candle this breakout candle has no wick at its top now we are talking about a bearish breakout now let me tell you again um, if we're talking about uh, maybe I need to summarize them so if we're talking about uh, bearish bearish breakout and bullish breakout so of course bearish is the one going down meaning it will be on a resistance so it will be a support breaking um, sorry it will be a, a support breaking the um, <laughs> it will be a breakout candle that breaking the support the bearish one so the bearish one if you want to know if the candles will go again to retest the level the candle should look like this at least having a wick at its top if it having wick at the bottom it's fine if it doesn't that's also fine but you can trust it more if there was a wick at its top uh, bottom so there will be most likely here a support and this breakout candle has broke this support level now if you see a wick here at the top side of the uh, bearish breakout candle and a wick at its bottom as well there is a potential that the candles will actually uh, go down and retest this level of the broken support vice versa when we're talking about the bullish breakout candle we will have here for example a resistance this resistance has been breaking out now the candle the breakout candle if it has a wick at its bottom and its top most likely it will go down and retest the level of the broken resistance now for example this one it has no wick at its bot uh, at its top here it's empty meaning this breakout was very strong and let's see how many pips was that that was almost 170 pips that is a lot and that is enough to make you lose the trade if you were thinking to buy it therefore look what happened later the candle is just kept going down and down and never stopped so in total the candles went down 200 and 150 pips and that's quite a lot now you can tell that this breakout was very strong because we didn't see here any weak at the stop now let's move next we have here this resistance and we can see this breakout candle and what happened here because we have here wick at, at the bottom of this breakout candle look at that guys this is the wick I'm talking about so once once you see that you know that this market still have a potential to go more down so you can recover your losses um, looking here at this resistance for example if I want to analyze it since we are on the four hour chart 
we can see that this week here is the highest level of the resistance so by putting my line like that we can see how actually this breakout candle after the breakout it didn't continue to go more up it went down to retest the level of the resistance and then it went again more up so what you can do here if you know that you can actually wait some time for the trade hopefully it will go down and you can reduce your losses because most likely what you will do is you will place sell at this point so hoping that this resistance of resistance uh, attempt number one will have a resistance number two so what you will do you're placing your sell here but the candle will continue going more up but seeing this week here you can uh, hope that the candle should actually go more down and this broken support will be again retested and the candles will reverse and this this broken uh, resistance at the highest level at this week here will be retested so the point here is that the retest will happen at the highest resistance nearest to the breakout candle so again this is the breakout candle and if we look at the left we can see this resistance and we can see actually this week as well so the retest usually will happen at the highest one the highest one this is very low one this is the highest so the best option you have is to exit your trade once the candle reach the level of the highest resistance near to the breakout candle okay i hope i ex i was able to explain the part of the breakout candle now let's go back uh, and explain about the reversals what are the, si the signals that can give us a potential reversal gonna happen on the market one of the very strong signals and let me show you on my facebook channel hold on all right so this is my facebook uh, group and i made this post yesterday and i said that i will make the video by today if you pay attention to these pictures i sent this is actually my favorite price action this one allow me to explain you about this price action by the way this is a nice post you can view it on my uh, facebook group i here mentioned how i entered this trade here because I saw this price action uh, this meant that the market actually should reverse from being on uptrend to a downtrend and there was a bearish reversal here and indeed this really happened and I got out with good profit I entered here and I exit my trade here now of course why did I why did I exit here because this was the nearest support all right so I, s I mentioned here more examples about uh, this price action allow me to show you on uh, MetaTrader 4 when you see for example when you see a support level okay and especially if we are on the first or second attempt of the support if you see guys a candle that look like this a small body not big not small uh, not very long just normal body size with long wick at a stop and very small tail like that uh, you have to be actually um, not sure but 90% the market will reverse at this point so we can s by the way I'm not talking about reversed hammer uh, there is difference the reversed hammer is look like that it's just look like a reverse uh, pin bar that is not the case what I'm talking about is a body of the candle not small uh, as a pin bar not big as the breakout candle just normal body size of the candle with long wick at its top and the smaller tail at its bottom so the market now should reverse and go up like that if you of course vice versa for the resistance if you see that on the second or first attempt of a resistance if you see at the resistance level a candle look like that normal size of the body with a small oh sorry with a long uh, tail 
at its bottom and small wick at its top it means that the market now should actually reverse so it will be going from on down on uptrend and should reverse now on downtrend uh, if we check the history we can see that actually worked several times uh, let's check the history here for example we, where we can see this candle if we want to start uh, from this point here we can see the candle right here this one okay so we have here one this candle and on this reversal we can see the candle is here so this candle once we saw it the market has actually reversed and also this one once we saw it this is the candle i'm talking about not small body not long body normal size long wick at the stop very small tail and you can see the market has actually reversed we can see it also uh, let me see where we can see it we can see it here as well the market reversed actually went down when we saw this market uh, this uh, price action um, where, we, where do we see it also uh, for example here this one you might tell me but man it didn't work the market continued to go more up hmm I doubt that let's check this together what happened here what happened here guys uh, this candle has appeared and this is the price action I'm talking about but please pay attention to what happened on the next candle remember guys we are talking about four hours chart so let me now actually mark this candle and show you what happened inside these two candles so we need to see what happened inside these two candles once the river once the price action on four hour chart appeared go back to the 15 minute where is that let's see there it is check this out check this out what do you see here the market has actually went down that is my hit and run uh, strategy rules once you see the market or sort of the candle showed this uh, price action actually let, let me tell you something I believe this was the red candle and this was the next one good so this one actually sorry we have to focus here so uh, this was the red candle on the four hour chart and this was the candle next to it I believe both of them actually because um, the red candle uh, hold, hold on sorry sorry the red candle has I think it's only this this part here while the next candle it is actually this part because on the next candle we can see that it went more down looking at that we can see there was a very long uh, tail at its bottom meaning the market has went down so the idea I wanted to tell you here that we, since we are on the four hour chart and if you want to see what happened in the background of this candle there was a bull uh, a bearish reversal indeed there was a bearish reversal and the market has went down to the nearest support if you follow the hit and run rules you can see that if you enter here your trade and exit at the nearest support it is this one here and we can see how the candles sorry the candles reversed right on uh, on the same level so um, seeing this price action is uh, in general good there is one small aspect I need to tell you it is better uh, let me hold on I need to do that on paint actually guys so we are now let's hold on I need to just do like that uh, all right so I need to just uh, divide them like that okay resistance all right so when we're talking about the support it is always better if we see this price action as a bearish candle for, so for example uh, if you see this price action as hold on I'm just uh, gathering the words in my mind uh, it has to be green color sorry a red color sorry red color 
like that from there you should know that the market will actually reverse and go up now it's not recommended if this was blue or green it's not recommended so if it is like that that is not recommended and there is a reason because if you enter if you want to enter once you see this candle if you enter the candle will actually close here this is where the candle will close meaning you will have if you want to enter after this candle you will enter right here this is your entry point meaning you are very late that is very late entry uh, maybe the candles now will go back down retest this level and again go more up uh, this since we are on the four hour chart this could be huge this could be like 50 or 60 pips even 100 pips so you don't want to do that what is the right thing to do is uh, this should be actually a red candle why because so the closing will be here down at the bottom of the candle meaning if you want to place buy it's always recommended that you place buy at the low level not the high level if you place buy here you are risking losing a lot of money because my, the candles might go down but since you are buying at the lowest level you are actually kind of safe so the market will not go a little it will not go much much down against you uh, it will you will have enough time to decide if you want to stop or stop uh, the loss you are buying at the very low level of the market uh, vice versa of course for the bearish reversal uh, it is recommended if the candle will be actually green when we are on the resistance so the candle will look like that it is recommended that this candle should be green why because in this case the market will actually close uh, the, sorry the candle will close here so this will be your entry you will enter here so you will actually sell because this candle uh, indicating that the market was going up and now should be going down so you want to place sell at the highest level possible of this candle uh, if this was red candle again the same thing here if this was red candle you will enter very late because the closing will be here and you will enter uh, with the sell option here and that is really late and the market can go up against you and you might lose all right um, another price action I need to talk about for the candles is when you see it is similar to what we talked about now it is when you see for example a support a support and you are seeing a candle normal candle it doesn't has any any uh, shape preferences on it if you see the next candle look like this a long wick and a small wick at its bottom now this is just similar to what we talked about but different the, the body is not dodgy it's not a dodgy candle it's just a very small thin body this indicating that the market will most likely go down uh, up now it will reverse now let me tell you the reason um, first let me just uh, see one candle look like that so I can explain to you in a brief um, just need to find one so I will explain to you the reason why this uh, candle is actually uh, good and why we, uh, we can actually trust it um, let me just pause the video so I will not uh, keep wasting your time oh hold on hold on I found it already this is the one here this one so this was the candle I'm talking about now if we zoom in this one here this one here that's the reverse pin bar now there is something you need to know seeing this long wick here against as a, a long uh, sorry a full body bar of the candle this indicating that the market will actually go down there is a reason why because this long wick here indicating that the sellers are actually making a push on the market making pressure in the market so yes I agree the candle has closed here 
indicating that the buyers won the battle but you cannot underestimate this very long tail here this very long wick here indicating that the the sellers the sellers the the, the bears they were able to push the market all the way down here and then the market reversed uh, and the candle closed as a bullish candle now don't underestimate that because it means that the sellers have the power to go down and if they do it once they will do it again so what happened next we can see the next candle was red and we can see here a very very small and weak uh, blue candles very weak actually if we look here what happened next uh, this candle closed like that the f this one meaning the sellers are actually now pushing the market more this one is very small similar to this one meaning the sellers still have the push to actually take the market down and what happened next is this uh, red candle appeared and it's, it was obvious that the, the sellers has won the battle and they took the market down uh, let's see how many pips was that that was almost 100 almost yeah almost 100 pips uh, down uh, against the trend so I mean the market went down so I'm telling here that this price action is quite strong don't underestimate it uh, if we want to see another more examples about it uh, let me try to find something uh, I believe I believe I have it on my desktop I believe I have it on my desktop hold on uh, this one indeed this one so this is another example I wanted to show you so we, once we see the candle look like this full bar and we see this candle so what is the uh, shape of this candle be the most important is the wick size the wick size should be very long and covering almost all of the previous red candle almost uh, all of the previous candle and the closing price will be at the bottom and the body of the candle will be small like that place your buy and hope for the best your analysis should be accurate so this is a very nice price action that I really recommend you guys to trust um, I don't know if we have time because now we are on 32 minutes of the video and I want I don't want to make it so long uh, we can see it here guys this one here check this out once we see this uh, candle here and it is long wick at this bottom uh, almost uh, same size or more actually of the previous candle uh, which was a full bar uh, full body the market went down and down and kept going more and more down so that was actually very strong uh, in general this is a very strong price action okay you can actually trust it we can see it here like this one uh, we can see it actually uh, here no not here not this one uh, I'm trying to find you more examples this one here guys this is exactly what I'm talking about this one so we can see the the wick at the stop is actually almost half or oh sorry almost full or similar size of the previous body and we can see that the reversal happened so again this is a quite strong uh, indicator for reversal and you can trust it the last thing we need to talk about is the fake breakouts unfortunately a lot of people actually failing to know or identify the fake breakouts let me tell you the fake breakout will always look like that if you see it on a support on a support level if you see two candles next to each other and almost just like a twin candles like it wins and let's say this was red this was red and the next one was green without wicks at, at their bottom or top this is this meaning a fake breakout it's the same for the resistance and support let me show you example 
Um, let me try to find one. Actually, they are easy to find. Um, fake breakout. I'm sure I'm seeing it now, but I am missing it. My eyes tricking me. This one. For example, this one here. This was a fake breakout and you cannot actually count it as a support attempt. So actually what I'm seeing here is this attempt number one of the support and this is attempt number two. This one you can ignore. As per my hit and run rules, this one you can ignore and I'm, sub I'm suggesting that you ignore the whole setup in total so what i'm saying here once you see a candle look like that very long red candle followed by very long red a green candle and you are assuming that this is a support number one and you are now assuming that this support number two you are wrong don't do that because actually this is not a support attempt that is a fake breakout the market went down following the traders and again go back up that is not a support the actual next support attempt was here like this here so in other words if you want to be safe just ignore the candles that look like that let me try to find another one for you guys um, usually they should not have any wick at their bottom at or top just like a twin uh, uh, two bars uh, that's weird I cannot find it usually you see it the whole time just now because I'm recording I cannot find them which is not good uh, I'm sure they are here front of me but I'm missing them trying to find them usually there is a lot of them what is going on uh, let me see another pair um, I'm sure I'm missing the, po the point I am missing seeing them maybe some of you have seen them now on the video while I'm rolling uh, let's say these for example yeah I know I said there is no wick at their bottom but these two actually look odd when you see odd candles like that you see all the candles having a normal wicks at their bottom at their top then suddenly all of a sudden you have these two wicks, uh, sorry, two candles that actually are full bars, just like they are not belonging there. They are not belonging to this uh, chart. You just see them happened here, then the market, so the market was going up. Then you see these two fake breakouts, and the market just continued to go more up, ignoring them like there was there was nothing. So that is one way that you can actually read the candles. Uh, so you just avoid them. That is my suggestion for you. Uh, one more, one last thing I need to, to say here. The last part in the video is about the pin bar. Pin bar, I believe, one of the f biggest uh, fake reversal uh, indicators. We should not trust them always. Uh, I don't personally trust pin bar. Pin bar has uh, failed me for so long time that I don't trust it. And I believe that you guys, you should not trust it as well. Um, we are now on the 40 minutes of the video and I don't want to make it so long I will try to summarize what I said or hold on one second there is just just one small part I need to talk about um, I know the video now is very long it's very long uh, some people uh, might not have the energy to watch it all it's long but I need to explain this one for those who are interested when you see a resistance level look like that uh, some people are indicating that this meaning that this resistance is weak let me tell you that this is wrong because the resistance has so many weeks at its top does not at all mean that this re uh, resistance is weak what you are seeing now remember you are in the four hour chart so what you are seeing now is actually a ranging market if we look on the smaller time frame 15 minutes or 30 minutes we will see here a ranging market now you are in a battle between the buyers and the sellers 
you stuck now in the battle between the bears and the bulls who will win the game who will break this resistance or uh, reverse at this resistance that does not mean at all this resistance is weak so don't think that because you see so many weeks at the top of this resistance meaning you can sell no 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 no. that will not work trust me from my experience I'm telling you don't rely on that even if you think that this was a resistance number one this means that this resistance um, is actually strong not weak it's completely the opposite if you think that seeing this many weeks at the top of the resistance meaning that this, this uh, resistance is uh, weak you are really wrong this means the opposite it is a strong resistance so if you count this as resistance number one what we can see here that the market has actually easily break out from this level and this resistance has now become the new support so when you see a market like that so many weeks at the top or bottom you have to aware that be aware that the market now uh, is in the battle between bulls and bears and you better stay away out of it so guys uh, please forgive me for the very long video but I tried my best to summarize everything for you in short time and I really hope it will help you and then your trading journey as it helped me a lot so guys until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.